Hello everybody, it's Stifler here. I thought I'd do a little video about the house seal and how you use the house seal, what it protects and how you make one. So first off, again, I'm in my workbench here. You need a workbench and I need 56 magical shards, 80 wood, 30 iron ingots to make the house seal. So it's made out of the workbench. When you get those materials together, you just put, drop them into the workbench and make it there. It's confusing because you can, it says you can make it in your inventory, but also you need to make it from there. When you drop it down, it becomes called the house workstation. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why there's a distinction there. But when you drop it down, it becomes in the house workstation. To power it, you're going to need magical essence. And magical essence is made up of glass bottles. I'm making some glass bottles now. And magical shards. So you need a house workstation to make it. And you need a, mag a magical workbench to power it. Unless, of course, you can get magical essence from somewhere else. But so far, the only way I've found to get any sort of magical essence in the game is to actually farm it up. So we're just going downstairs and we're going to fill up these bottles now um, with water because obviously to turn them into magical essence you need to actually fill them with water as well. Um, once you do that we go upstairs, back in, excuse me, ladder, ladder problems, first build ladder problems. And um, when we go back upstairs then we can turn those glass bottles with magical shards in the work, magical work bench um, into magical essence. So. There we go, we just create our magical essence now. Once you've created the magical essence you need, you, you drop that then into now the house workstation slash house seal. So we've dropped them in there and then you activate the seal. When you activate the seal, you'll see above it is a sort of a orange dome. That lets you know that the seal is active and working. What this does then is it puts a very large barrier around, around itself. It's an orb. So the barrier is, is is an orb shape around where you've actually placed the barrier. I'm just getting some, some light so I can see what I'm doing here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you just how big it is. So I have two seals running at my current base. Again, ladder problems. <laughs> and um, let's just once I get onto the griffin. Excuse me one second. Maintenance menus. Maintenance stuff popping up. Okay, so we placed our, we placed our house seal. We powered our house seal. Now you can see that the house seal is covering the base you can see the sort of size you get from a seal to be protecting a piece of base it just needs to be touching a corner of it so those those walls and that ceiling that i have there that are only slightly in are actually protected despite them being slightly in there are some notable exceptions to what it will protect and what it won't um things like uh water towers piping um extra stuff like that aren't protected right now by by, by it but any sort of major structure is and what what we what, what what does that mean for you then? So what that means is that you are raid protected. Nobody can raid your structure. Hence, this is all wood. No one can raid my structure at this point. What they need to do is to raid me is to go to war with me. And to go to war, you have to actually create a war flag, and you have to throw that war flag at the other the other person's house seal protected base. So you need to create the war flag in the um, workbench now slash house seal. I don't know why it's got two separate names. Really craftable, and then there it is. Unfortunately, we've got the <laughs> got the server maintenance message in the way at the moment. So bear me one second while it just disappears. Um, we're just trying to get this done today because a few people have asked me about it, and the people come in all the time when I'm streaming and ask me about how what you do with seals, how you power them, how how how, how they work, and everything like that. So give us one second. But essentially, you need to. All right, so that message has disappeared now. So again, so to, to actually go to war with someone, this is what you need to craft. You need to craft one of these flags, wood, hide, and twine. Carry it with you, throw it at the person's base that's, that's raid protected. And then after a period of time, that person then will be flagged for PvP. Now the, the question is, is how long is that time? Since the game's come out, this so far hasn't actually worked properly. So that essentially, when you, if you've got a powered up shield, you're kind of raid protected. That will change when they fix the house seal. I don't know whether they're just doing some balance passes or not. But um, as soon as they've actually got that into a decent position, I'm sure they're going to make the changes they need to make, and it's actually going to all going to uh, all going to work correctly. But as you see, I've got a huge, pretty huge base here that covers multiple areas, and two seals just about cover it. But make sure everything overlaps. Make sure you've got every piece covered. If there is a piece of wall that is entirely not covered, if there's a ceiling that's entirely not covered, that can be destroyed. Someone can get in through that. So whatever you do, you have to make this sure that it's all. Um, it's all covered correctly. You have to make sure that at least a corner is 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 touched, and don't keep anything really important outside that you don't want to be blown up. So, for instance, water water towers, piping, anything like that can still be killed. So, if someone wants to be really, really malicious and mess with you, they can still kill all the stuff like that. Anyway, guys, hope you found this interesting. Hopefully, hopefully you found it useful. 
and um, I'll be making some more of these videos and I'll be and I will see you all very soon. Thank you. Doing goodbye.